So now we've done the tour, we've come back just to have a little conversation about people's thoughts and how they first felt about college and answer any questions you may have. So I'm back with Jack and we've got Joe and Evie here today with us. So what were your first thoughts when you came into college? Um, so for me personally, I found it a very nice transition because I went to Rygate School and it kind of fed through nicely into the college um, because I knew a lot of the people that came here and it was just it was a nice transition it wasn't too scary and I found myself to be very relaxed. Joel what about your thoughts? Yeah I feel like um, going like this is, was much larger than my um, secondary school it was a bit daunting to, to be like oh there's so many people here um, but the college has a really good way to combat that by um, making it seem very comfortable. Um, you refer to the teachers in, by their first names, you wear your own clothes, um, and they make it very clear from the get-go if you need any help, if you need any assistance, there is a chain of pastoral team, plenty of people who are there, just solely to make sure that you're okay. So I was a bit apprehensive at first, because like Joel said, it is a lot bigger than my secondary school, um, and I was the only person from my friendship group to come here, so I was a little bit nervous at first. Um, but my tutor group really helped me to settle in. Um, it's quite a funny story. I sat next to the only girl in the class that was there at the time and I said, Oh, my name's Evie, quite nervously. And she said, Yeah, me too. My name's also <laughs> Evie. So that was a really nice icebreaker. Um, yeah, I think the tutor group is definitely essential to helping me settle in. There's loads of ways to make friends at the college. So for me personally, I joined a lot of clubs and things. So I played badminton and I went to the gym and you kind of had lots of different friendship groups so I had my friends uh, for sports and then I play piano so I had my friends in the music area and I had like your psychology friends and that kind of thing and so I feel like there's loads of opportunity just to meet new people. So Joel obviously the whole difference is that there is a different timetable the layout of the day um, how did you find that and um, time management as a whole? Well, it, it was a bit of a jump, first of all, because you've got suddenly all these frees that you didn't have before. Um, and whereas first you're like, oh, I can spend them having fun, I can go out and then and, and, and go into the town, etc, etc. I feel like uh, through trial and error, you kind of learn what, how to manage your time and what you should do with those frees. Um, whether it be work, studying, like homework. Uh, yes, I might have just said the same word three times in different um, ways, but... Um, that is a reality of college. I feel like also a part of time management is um, making sure to have time for yourself. With a lot of, with suddenly a bit of a jump in workload, uh, you have to pencil in things for just you because mental health is important and you need to make sure that um, you are okay in order to make your work as productive as you can. It was quite exciting at first because I thought, oh, I've got all this free time, it's great. Um, I did go and use the IRC quite a lot to get my homework done because it meant if I got it done during the week then I didn't have to do it at the weekends and that was quite <laughs> nice. Um, but yeah, just doing, picking up extra clubs or um, going to the gym and all that sort of thing is good and it really gives you a good time to just meet your, your friends more and like get to know other people more as well. The workload at first, it seems quite daunting but when you kind of get into a routine once you've allocated that time to do your work um, like it is not near as daunting as it seems to be at the start and there's loads of support if you if you need to go to your teachers to get help on homework or even like revision for tests and things you should just relax and like you'll just fly through it really so obviously food is quite a big deal when you come to college so how did you find that Jack um, so for me personally, I, I used to do a bit of everything, so I used to sometimes get food from the canteen or the refectory, um, sometimes I'll bring in my own things and then others I'll go down into Rygate because it's just like a 5-10 minute walk, not even that, and then just go to Morrison's, get some sandwiches. I'd say the refectory fed me through my A-levels. I think personally the meal deal was one of my favourites towards um, my second year because as much as, as many times as I can just get chicken and chips, I feel like sometimes it's good to mix it up a little bit so the meal deal, or the a main meal even, um, was different on every day. Thank you Gavin Chambers, that's all I can really say. <laughs> my favourite thing was after, in the middle of a double French lesson Monday morning getting a hash brown. Oh. And that 10 minute break was brilliant. Um, yeah, I think I, I did sandwiches some days. Yeah, just mixed up a little bit. I think the best part 
about the refectory is that email in the morning. <laughs> and you, just, you see them, you see the menu, and then you know what's on the menu. I think that was essential to everyone's morning. <laughs> Teachers always say that your college experience always goes very fast. Do you think that's true? Joel, how do you feel like to make the most of your college experience? Well, I feel like when you're going through it, you're like, oh my gosh, this is the longest thing I've ever done. But um, when you're looking back, you're like, how much did I do in like, <laughs> that was like five seconds. Um, and I think a part of um, keeping on top of it all and um, really like being able to make the best of your college experience is be proactive. Um, make sure that you're always on top of your workload. When you're not behind, you don't feel as stressed. You can you feel more um, productive, and it's just a good feeling to have in general. Um, it's never too early to start like revising or studying. Like that's needs to be like I know I know I'm sorry, but it does kind of <laughs> need to be a constant thing as you're going through. Even like little bits, like 20 minutes or 30 minutes a day, can really like stack up. Well, it does just help, and everyone's like, oh, I'm not going to be bothered to do that. Like I can't do that, but you kind of just need to because it does go really quick. Jack, like what do you what are your thoughts? The teachers always say like your college experience will go really fast and they're not wrong like it does go really quickly um, but you should you should make the most of it and like make it fun because it's two years of your life that you're never going to get back and at the end of the day I can look back and say that I enjoyed my college experience with like I think what Joel was saying like the biggest thing about revision um, it shouldn't be seen to be like this massive task uh, like it's such a mental barrier just literally make it fun and don't see it as revision just see it as something that you can enjoy really. yeah like find different ways and I think college mm. is a great place to figure out how you want to revise which ways work best for you oh uh, wait oh. <laughs> but also right um, you've got to remember like in the back of your head that you're studying like three subjects that you enjoy you've gone from GCSEs mm. where you're doing 11 or 10 yeah. 11 subjects where maybe you don't want to do even half of them and then you're going into college and you're simply hand selecting three subjects mm. that you're going to really enjoy and i think that's really yeah it's easier that's to work hard when you're actually enjoying what you learn about yeah. well i hope you have learned something from our little conversation um good luck to all of you and i hope you enjoy your time here as much as hopefully we did <laughs> And if you've got any more questions, you can always go to inquiries at rygate.ac.uk. <laughs>